Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my tips and tricks series and today we're going to be talking about my handheld tower. Hi, as my collection has gotten bigger I've collected quite a few handheld systems from uh, the uh, the Atari Lynx, the Game Gear, the Sega Nomad, um, the Neo Geo Bakit Color, uh, the 3DS, uh, you know, uh, the Vita, the PSP. You know, I have quite a few handheld systems. So uh, I was going through and designing stuff for my room and or my game room and. Uh, I decided that I was going to create a tower display for all of my handheld systems. Um, now, all of the uh, uh, all of the stands that I'm using are from Rose Colored Gaming, and uh, I did actually modify one of them, which is the one for the PSP, so that uh, I can actually charge the PSP and have it sitting on the stand, looking really nice at the same time. Uh, most that was my main design was to try to make all of these handheld systems readily available and charge uh, at the same time while also looking nice. Um, so the basic design was a small DVD tower that I had purchased for my Wii games a long time ago. Uh, it's just you know a standard tower you can pretty much find any of them on Amazon for fairly cheap or uh, any other uh, store or anything like that. Uh, the one, one that I'm using, I believe the inside shelves are about nine and a half inches wide uh, and then just a standard DVD depth. Um, and of course adjustable shelves. Uh, now I went through and did multiple revisions of this tower and um, kind of experimented along the way. Uh, you know, I actually had to go through and make additional shelves uh, because some of the shelves had been water damaged from uh, being in storage. So I'm, I'm, I went to Lowe's and picked up uh, some laminated shelf and then uh, cut them to size and then uh, took a router and routed out a channel so that uh, the pins that I'm using can actually fit in there. Uh, so. You know, I played around with how everything laid out and stuff, and how the cables were going to happen and stuff like that. And uh, I put the shelves in, and uh, I started uh, putting holes through the back so that I could run the the charging cables through and stuff like that. And I decided to take it up a step further and uh, add RGB lights, and the result was great. I was very happy with it. So. I decided to even take it a step further and fill in the adjustable shelf holes that I wasn't using. So I took a, a small dowel and just sanded it down so that I could actually get it to fit properly and then, uh, you know, fit it in, figured out the depth that I needed, cut it off, and then uh, if there was like any kind of like gap or anything like that when I want to put the, the cut off piece back into the hole, I just took uh, some black wax and you know, filled it in, and it looks great. I'm I'm very happy with the final product. Uh, it charges everything. I actually put a command hook on the back because uh, I have a carrying case that I use to uh, carry any of my handheld systems that I'm gonna take with me on a trip or anything like that. And it has the the case uh, has like various charge cables and then uh, a USB battery backup and you know just just good travel stuff and I wanted to have it near the handheld systems but looking but out of the way so that it didn't you know detract from how it looked um, you know uh, there's also a power bar down there to, to plug in all of the, the charge cables and stuff like that on the back and I was just um, you know I, I took my time with it I planned it out and you know I'm very happy with it how everything turned out you know, it's it's an easy project, and I highly suggest it for basically everyone. Um, you know, buying the tower, you can buy one that's a little bit wider. Uh, if you have more systems, or if you have multiples, if you wanted to create 
like uh, a Game Boy Color shelf, you might have to get a tower, a DVD tower that's going to be, um, you know, a lot, a lot wider than the one that I'm using. You might need one that's like three feet wide. But again, it's it's really not that hard. A lot of this stuff that I used was, you know, plug and play or just peel and stick, you know, and it looks great. It's definitely worth your time. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.